Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's start. Is Huawei cooperating with BYD to launch a high end pure electric SUV? According to media reports, the high end brand jointly created by the two companies may be named Star or Star Sky. It is benchmarked to the Mercedes-Benz G-Class. This model will be listed in the first half of 2023 and is expected to sell for between 500,000 and 800,000 renminbi. It is also said that it is priced at 500,000 to 1.5 million renminbi. Do you have any expectations for this car? The model will be adopted with Huawei MDC computing platform and dual laser radar. In addition, it is also reported that there is another more mysterious car. The relevant heads of BYD and Huawei didn't disclose any information about the car. BYD is one of the leaders of China's new energy automobile enterprises, and Huawei is the leader of China's communication enterprises. Both of them are first-class enterprises in the world. Why does BYD cooperate with Huawei? What kind of chemical reaction will occur when they work together? Who dominates the cooperation between Huawei and BYD? As mentioned earlier in the video, Huawei is a communication enterprise while BYD is an automobile enterprise. The relationship between the two is not close. Why does BYD cooperate with Huawei? To answer this question, we need to know what BYD lacks. It still lacks an operating system in intelligent electric vehicles. This operating system is different from software in the traditional sense, but an intelligent suite integrating algorithms, computing power and communication infrastructure. In other words, BYD lacks intelligence. BYD did not learn from Tesla to completely researched intelligence by itself. BYD, which chose the Samsung hardware IDM route, is not strong in intelligence of course, so external cooperation is the best choice. Therefore, BYD purchased NVIDIA Intelligent Solutions to cooperate with Huawei. In terms of intelligent driving, Huawei can complement BYD's weaknesses. In addition, in terms of software-defined automotive technology, Huawei has the following technical reserves, Vehicle Machine System Hicker, Electric Drive System Drive 1, Intelligent Driving System, Automotive Communication Technology, Automatic Driving ICA, and other technical solutions. From the video here, we can clearly understand that Huawei's automotive intelligent technology can fully meet the needs of BYD. In addition, BYD introduced the S8 series hardtop roadster in 2009 in BYD's first high-end brand route. The price was between 160,000 and 210,000 renminbi, but only a few hundred cars were sold, so the first high-end brand route was ended in failure. BYD cooperated with Huawei is also the demand of the second high-end brand route. With the strong demand of the new energy vehicles, BYD launched its second impact on high-end brands by setting up special agencies and integrating high-end brand resources. For example, in February 2021, BYD established a high-end brand preparation office, auto sales of the former general manager Zhao Chengjiang as director. Five months later, Zhao Chengjiang began to interact with car users through his personal microblog, asking for the needs of high-end models, and setting up topics and discussions on BYD's high-end models. In November 2021, Zhao Chengjiang asked for the opinions of car users on his microblog again, including the seat layout, seat configuration, intelligent configuration, endurance and other information of high-end models. It can be seen that BYD and its CEO attach great importance and determination to develop high-end intelligent vehicles, both in its first high-end brand route and the second. BYD lacks intelligence, while Huawei can just fill this gap. So what kind of chemical reaction will occur when they work together? As stated at the beginning of the video, 
Relevant personnel said that Huawei and BYD would build high-end automobile brands, named Star or Star Sky. It is said that it's the first high-end off-road SUV equipped with wheel-side motor, which can complete the in-situ U-turn through the forward and reverse rotation of tires, and has high-performance motor and excellent acceleration ability. And another car is said to be more mysterious, which is even more worth looking forward to. BYD and Huawei are both first-class enterprises and leaders in their respective fields. Who is the dominant partner in the cooperation? There may be two cooperation modes, first, Huawei is a primary supplier, second, the two sides are responsible for half and half to take charge of the intelligence system, the whole vehicle and the battery system respectively. Strictly speaking, Huawei has no deep accumulation in the automotive industry. If Huawei builds cars from scratch, it will face fierce market competition. Therefore, Ran Jingfei said not build car for deep-seated reasons. The manufacturing cycle is too long, and the whole industrial chain is too large. If Huawei starts building cars, it will face strong domestic competitors. Huawei has accumulated too little to build cars. Starting from a primary supplier, it avoids direct competition in the entire industry and shortens the learning cycle of building cars. The value created by Huawei in the field of vehicle manufacturing has an obvious effect on sales. As mentioned above, the pricing of BYD's high-end brands has reached the price range of 800,000 to 1.5 million RMB. If the model only has the hardware of SUV, but no intelligent software, this price is not reasonable for one own brand. Huawei's intelligent label can support BYD's high-end brand. Take the cooperation between Huawei and Chongqing Jinkong New Energy Automobile Company, Limited as an example. Chongqing Jinkong New Energy Company, Limited has both production and sales qualifications. In the cooperation with Huawei, on the one hand, its share price rose, and on the other hand, its order volume increased due to Huawei's additional holdings. A sales staff member said that the recent increase in customer inquiries in the store sometimes leads to the sale of 50 cars a day. This shows Huawei's support for auto sales. Many people also speculate that BYD is a car production OEM for Huawei. The industry has long assumed that Huawei will eventually build its own cars, and Ren's no-build document is only valid for three years, which is increasingly running out of time. The cooperation is a cooperation between Huawei and the earliest and strongest electric vehicle company in China. In the cooperation, Huawei has the opportunity to learn how to build electric cars from the best teacher, and it even can make use of BYD's car production capacity to produce cars. BYD Electronic worked for Huawei mobile phones and other consumer electronics business. Finally, it is obvious that this is a win-win cooperation between the two sides. For BYD, it has a strong electrification capability, but lacks of intelligence. This is the biggest disadvantage of BYD's competition with Tesla and Nioi. BYD needs suppliers like Huawei to provide strong support in the level of intelligence. It also needs Huawei's MDC and Hongmeng Intelligent Cockpit. At the same time, Huawei also needs to cooperate with auto companies such as BYD to understand how to build electric vehicles and make them well. There are so many news about the cooperation between Huawei and BYD in building cars. Do you expect them to build cars? What do you think about this car? Okay, we just spent another 10 minutes of deep thinking. Do you want to know what changes have taken place in the world in these 10 minutes? Please keep following our channel and like our videos.